Hello and welcome back to Moonring. Um, just gonna fill in the map because, like, I guess I'm a completionist in that sense. Uh, we completed, we defeated, um, we beated the the Slethen beast. The this the Slethen. Just like oh, occasionally, I catch the fact that um, there's actually a day-night cycle in this game. Um, and it's really cleverly done because it's not like your kind of traditional oh you know what we're still using the slethen sword slethen blade uh also we are very close to death if i'm not careful we might have to kill the slethen beast again let's go ahead and grab drink a a nice potion drink there oh every, everything died almost everything these critters there's like weird hedge creatures hanging out all right let's leave uh let's put some oil in our lantern because i really don't want to have to deal with getting insane yep don't want that herb here i don't really want to deal with the uh, i don't want to i want to go and looking for her i really am just going to fill in the map maybe maybe this is bad content maybe i'm a bad content creator i know i'm, I'm willing to uh there's worse things to be bad at in life you know that's all i'm gonna say i'd rather be bad at making content than i don't know uh taking care of animals how about that one how about that one didn't see that one coming, did you? Or myself, taking care of myself. Hey, cat, don't don't leave now and make make me feel bad. That would be bad. That would be that would be not okay. All right, let's um, we're like I say, I'm just gonna be filling in in the map here. Ooh, what is that? Is this anything? What is this? Uh, it's just a it's just a construct. Ruin. I'm gonna start to ignore those as of like this very instant. I mean, I'll go and put it on the map. Like I'll explore it for a moment, but I am not going to. Um, oh God, Amber. We're gonna we're gonna have to put some more oil in our lantern. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll check out these. I'll, I'll look at them. I'll put them on the map. Um, for the sake of completion, but I'm not going to actually fully explore them Because there's no point anymore. I mean, I guess there is a point like I shouldn't get too cocky There's many things left to do in this game and I'm gonna probably want some constructs to do them with All right, that's just about the whole forest completed there's, I guess, a little bit more over here, or, or is that just a lake or something? I guess there's a bit more to my south as well. If I want to be really completionist. These mountains are, are sure a, a sure pain in the butt. Because they are... Like, it, it's worth it, too. Like, it's not just for completionist. I, I should say this. Um, but, like, also, this is the kind of game that hides stuff everywhere everywhere there's like some kind of secret oh god here we go put i'm running i'm starting to run out of uh oil yeah like there's a there's a ruin over there let's go ahead and throw that there um yeah i was i was tempted to attack the the wolf but then there's a chance they might die and then i get you know bled to death Grab some more scraps of fur and some more hedgehog meat. I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. Yummy. Um, yummy, 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 yummy. Cool. And we'll leave. So that looks like a ge genuine ruin. Like this is a big time ruin. Uh, and there might be something important here. Ooh. Okay, that's that dealt with. 
So we're just gonna go around all these traps. Gonna continue not stepping in traps. I learned my lesson. You don't have to step in any traps. Okay, there's a locust fragment. Locust device fragment. That That is why we come... To, that's why we explore every nook and cranny in this game. Speaking of which, how many of those do we have? Uh, three. So we're, we need two more. I think. I think we need two more. I'm sure there's more in this forest. Like, I, this is a place I have been neg neglecting to explore for basically the entire game. Throw that down right there. Uh, they seem to put down plants that hurt me. Hurt me good. We have a bit of lantern left in our... A little bit, a little bit of lantern oil left. I really just want to like... Fill in the gaps here. What is there anything left? This must be... I don't know. It's it's hard to tell, honestly. Maybe some here. Oh, yeah, Venom Cube. Um, four lake meat. I don't know how to get out of here, to be honest. Like, I could just haven. Oh, there's a, there's a gap there. Um, hmm. I guess I haven't checked out the north side of the island. Oh, I, oh wait, that's, that's completely wrong. I have, I just haven't fully explored it. Which, you know, we should. We, I just proved that there's important stuff hanging out in, like, every nook and cranny. We found an enderal herb and we found a locust device fragment. Like, there's some, there's something everywhere. So, we are, uh, you know... I hope you don't mind. Hope it's not too much of a of an issue. We are going to explore like every nook and cranny of this game in order to uh, defeat it. I've got some. Um, you know, I don't usually talk about other forms of content I've got coming up, but I'm I'm kind of excited. I. Uh, Got some interesting videos coming up. I've, I've been thinking of um, game development again. You know, something I've often played with the uh, played with the idea of of you know developing a game, not becoming a game developer. Those two things are they're not mutually exclusive. However, they are also not a perfect circle Venn diagram. I, I've played with the idea of developing a game. I have. I would not like to become a game developer. <laughs> and I think that anyone who's a, who is a game developer would uh, understand maybe why I would say that. Um, but like this, is, this game is honestly very inspiring. Uh, not that I think that this kind of game is easy to produce. I really don't think it is. In fact, I think this is one of the harder games to produce and make well, at least like make compelling. It's, it's a really amazing thing that has been achieved here. But if I was going to make a game, I would like to make a game like this because I really do like... Um, I, I love TTRPGs. I love hex crawls. Um, I love developing that kind of stuff. I love develop, developing a world. And um, I could really see myself like losing losing myself in, in creating a, an interesting and compelling world. Um, and I feel like t traditional roguelikes, I've said this before, but I think it's one of the best ways to kind of like convey a world because it's, um, I don't know how to put it. It, it, it removes the most number of like obstacles between you and the world. Cause when you think about it, when you think about the, um, oh, I don't know how to put it. Fidelity. The fidelity of like combat, of mechanics, of um, you know, a world in most games, the the more fleshed out that game is, graphically speaking, in a way the more barriers it puts between you and the world. Because you're gonna be spending a lot of time um I don't know. 
it just takes longer to do things you know it takes longer to say kill a boar uh it takes it takes longer to level up it takes longer to even explore um and uh, i think when you design a table uh, like a kind of a, a traditional roguelike a lot of things are taken for granted a lot of the combat is uh kind of quicker and snappier and uh, that therefore you spend more time um getting to know the world than you do in in uh, say something with a bit more graphical prowess that's i mean I, it's a it's a bad way of explaining myself i never really do a good job of explaining what i mean but I, th I do think that traditional roguelikes are a great medium for conveying a world. Um, so what are we doing now? Well, we're going to do some more exploration. I do. I know my ship is near Winterhole. Uh, we probably want to go and get it and uh, do some more exploration. Uh, there's a ship to our south. We should probably go there. Why don't we... Or not ship to our south. There's, there's a ruin to our south that we probably need to check out. Oh. Oh, is our ship just available in any town? Oh, that's convenient. I really appreciate that. And it seems like it's at full health too. I'm not sure why that is. We've got the wind. We have the wind at our sails. I just, uh, I just played through Return of the Oberdin for the first time. And it's really been sitting with me. It's one of those games that like you can only play that game for the first time once and that's it you're done you never like i will never have you're never gonna have an experience like return of the oberdin again it truly is a once in a lifetime kind of experience and i know that sounds maybe pretentious um but it, it is a remarkable game it's not even a particularly like I don't know how to put it. It's it's it really is like th there's nothing else really like it. I think the closest thing like it is maybe Shadows of Doubt. What was that? That was weird. Is that like a graphical glitch? Um, this is a weird little island. Anyway, all of that to say, I, I it's been on my mind. I've been thinking about Return of the Oberdin. I've been thinking, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of in remorse a little bit, and maybe that's not the way, right way of putting it. I've been, I've been uh, mourning its uh, its completion because it's like, yeah, that's really is done. I'm, I'm never. I probably will never play that game again because there's no point, you know, like once you've played, once you've played it through it once, to completion, it's like that is it. Anyway, what's why am I even bringing this up? Well, because um, I'm on a boat really is the extent of that. So what is this? Oh my god. Okay, well, where, if you have you are encountering a new creature that spooks you, uh, bloodstone. That's how I solve all my problems, and that's why I die a lot. Ooh, they actually do some really nasty damage. We're gonna have to take a potion. Potion of healing, drink. And uh, throw down a bloodstone. There we go. This is a potion. Staria draft. Oh, I love it. I love getting a Staria draft. Especially for free. Okay. Ooh. This is going to be tricky. This is a very trap-filled room. Unarmed. <sighs> I guessed wrong. Kind of like, uh, I'm thinking about, um... Games that you can only play through once. There's not a lot of games like that, to be honest a lot of games that you can play through and 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 get something out of on a second or third playthrough you know
can we leave we can leave okay so we got another locust fragment we're getting kind of close on that one yeah we have four so we have four endural herbs and four locust fragment uh locust device fragments kind of be nice if we had gotten like finished one of those before uh never mind it's fine i do want to check out this island outside of just like that one ruin i feel like some of this some of the graphics are not functioning properly right now cool we got a checkpoint that is helpful You know, it's funny, we are in Amber, but we are not um, gaining in Madness. Do we have any food? We do have a little bit of food. It's moldy, which is actually fine. This is a, this is a very extensive island. How big is this island? I would have thought it was going to be a very little island, but it's actually like a continent. Can we disembark here? No. Okay, here's another river. I'm uh, I'm gonna follow that. Nope, nothing there. Nothing here either. Uh, this is like um. I often think about. Uh, I don't know who it was. There are explorers that were like, trying to wrap around the world and and um get to the east side of Europe uh, and they uh, accidentally discovered Canada and found themselves in the St. Lawrence River which I believe doesn't actually like it doesn't cut through all of Canada I mean I, my, I know my geography is bad but it's not that bad right hopefully anyway I, this is uh, kind of re reminding me of that a little bit it's like how far does this uh does this river go? Can we go all the way through the continent? What about this one? Wow, this continent is large. How far, how large is this continent? Aha, we can finally disembark here. My goodness. I should, um... really kill some prey ah. can we can we kill can we kill nice got some venison i'm pretty sure that's pretty good food wow that's worth a hundred food i'd never realized that holy crap well that's worth knowing uh, I will I will retain this information <laughs> So is there nothing here There is like seriously nothing here Hmm Okay, so just like a little tiny Valley it's the kind of place uh, it would that would be nice to settle in You know start start a, a, a new settlement new little town Well, this is uh this is kind of wild honestly like i would have i, I kind of thought that maybe we were gonna get a slightly wind waker experience was like okay yeah there's a there's a few islands there's a couple of puzzles um maybe a couple of hidden dungeons out in the world was not expecting a whole ass continent it's so far it's bigger than like the entire world that we've explored that's wild that is really something. I really do want to get like a poster of, uh, of the world. I know, I, I know Dev said cloth map. I, I think I'd rather have a big, bigger poster. I don't know. It depends on how big the cloth map would be. But I, I do like the design of the world in this game quite a bit 
I notice I'm finding ways of doubling back on myself. There, There is ways. I don't quite understand the logic of it just yet. Oh, well, just, uh... Oh, okay, we can actually disembark here. And that's it. Wow, that... This, this... This is a very large continent with not a lot going on in it. I'm starting to slightly resent it. <laughs> like, what... Like, what is the point of all of this land? When there's nothing going on here. Look how... Like, it's so large. Oh my god, does it go around the entire world? I'm starting to wonder if it actually goes around the entire world. It's just like this impassable... Um, I, I'm actually wondering if it's... If this is the namesake of the game. Well, wait a minute. They mentioned... Someone mentioned a volcano. Someone mentioned a volcano. I'm wondering if we're, like, in the center of that volcano. Hear me out. Um, I know that, uh, I, I forget what it's called, but there's something called, uh, there's, there's basically when, uh, you know, a volcano erupts and explodes and beca basically becomes a giant crater. Um, and then it starts to fill with water and becomes, like, almost a, a lake. You know, it, um... Oh, what is this? Oh, is that a... This is a teleport. Aw, heck! Okay, what is this? As you lay your hand upon the stone, you see a vision in the web. An island surrounded on all sides by mountains and the glint of the sea in the distance. Okay, and then this is... Uh, burning rock in the distance and a town glowing deep within the ravine. So we've now completed... We've got a travel spot here now. Did I not explore some of this? I guess there wasn't really much way for me to do that. To, for me to be able to do that. Hmm. I'm just uh, trying to see if there's any way to like get through into like some of these impassable places. It's not see. It's not seeming like it. Anyway, so we've got um another teleport spot, which must mean there is something here. What do we got here? Hello. Who are you? Oh, it's Roche! What? No way. How did you get in here? You do not appear to be Amber Touched. Amber Touched? No, you seem sane. Nevertheless, this is no place for you. Whoever or whatever you seek is not here. I assume you came looking for something or someone. Hmm, who is it you think I am exactly? Roche? Thartius Roche? And why would you want to find someone long dead? Or do you think Roche still lives? Lives. If that were the case, why would you seek... Wait, you have a black-eyed stone. What do you know of the serpents? Yes, those of us who knew the truth behind the gods. Oh, I see. You seem much like Karam. I presume you are their child. Yes. Ah, I have not heard from Karim in too long. I assume they fell to the enemy. What were you told? How much do you know? More than nothing? Nothing. Then let me tell you. We were the serpents, and that stone was our sign. There were five of us. I have lived a long time, and I have learned much, and many things I wish I could unlearn. I am an inventor. 
I have found ways to prolong my life on this, or my, my time on this mortal coil. Mark well, there is no pride in this. I do what must be done and no more. I, the downfall of the gods is my life's work. What? Um, the foul creatures we call gods caused the cataclysm. They covered the sun. They sent the amber. They gave us creatures to fear and we gave them worship. Yes, adulation and fear are their food and drink. Without it, they would ha leave this place and find another. But people are fools and easily driven to re re religiosity. What? Religiosity. Religiosity. So that's a weird one. I. The creatures move from world to world, dividing the populace and reaping the fear and adoration. But we serpents found a way to make them move on. What most do not know is that the five are not the moons in the sky, nor spirits. They exist outside our perception. They are bound to this place by a living tether somewhere in Caldera. It must be destroyed. Yes, like the roots of a plant sucking in energy and sending it on to their true forms. But I believe the tether can be broken by those who know the gods' true names. If I am correct, speaking their names at the right place and time will render the tether vulnerable. And we serpents found their names. The others were, com uh, were coming here to tell me their parts. But it seems that they were all killed before they could do so. And I am too old and too weak to seek out my old comrades' shades. Um, too old? But you, Karim's child, are not. I can tell you the name I discovered. The name is Tarthius, or Tarthus. And alas, that is all I know. Okay, well, I guess I'm writing that down, huh? Tarthus. You know, I wrote that so badly, I have to write it again sometimes. God's names. Okay. Shades? The dead do not lie easily in Caldera, as I am sure you have seen. The other serpent's shades will persist for a while. They may help you if you can find them and free them from this world. Take this. It will guide you to their final resting places. I was planning to use it myself, but age is catching me up. You must seek them. And when you find them, send them to the afterlife. Unlife causes insanity and rage. Freedom will grant their spirits a moment of clarity. They will speak what that which they, which must be spoken. Oh, Roche's bell. Learned much. Karim said you said you were dreamless. As a dreamless, you could become Archon, correct? Go. Find the serpent spirits and put them to rest. There is no time to waste. Yeah, but what about Archon? No! The moment you accept that role, you become a shell. The gods hollow you out. You become a puppet of flesh. Gods. Okay. There's no nothing else left to, to speak to. Okay, so we have the... Uh, we have Roche's Bell. Not sure where we are meant to use that. It doesn't seem to even appear in our quest items. Why not? Is it in tools? Amber ward. Oh, there it is. Roche's bell. Small silver bell glowing with a pale yellow light. You find you do not wish to look at it for too long. Bells such as these were used by the Sibirun to commune with those who had passed on before the cataclysm. Time has left the practice in poor repute and most spells shattered. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was not expecting to find Roche here. Roche, someone's gonna tell me. Ooh, look at all the Amber Ward. 
Oh, I wonder what happens if I take all of his Amber Ward. Um, fill an empty bottle. I'll take it all. I don't care. The shell contains Roche's notes on the gods, the tether allowing them to feed on Caldera and various complex diagrams. Always read the books. You find a book titled Ancient Sibirun 7. One word catches your eye. Del, which means battle or fight. Battle. Slash fight. Only thing that comes to my mind when I think Dell is mediocre computer, am I right? Oh. Wow. He really, he really went and said it. Okay. Well, that's a major uh, box checked. Be a pretty good time to call it for this episode, to be honest. But I want to check out the rest of this island just to make sure. I'm not missing anything. It doesn't look like I am. Oh God, I'm insane. Ow. Ow. Mimsy McMuck Pants. Ha ha ha. Uh. Okay, um. Let's put some well we got a lot of amber ward oil now have we fully checked out this island i think so there's our ship on the east side i thought this was where the uh the thief had gone um let me see now tower of veils the Thief of Keys is called Kenner. The Thief of Keys uh, is probably hiding on an island in the Calderan Sea. Ask about Kenner and move Moon upon Thos. Kenner's hiding out 9 leagues south and 18 leagues east of a giant cross in the Calderan Sea. Giant cross, huh? Where, what would that, where would that be? I guess uh, there's something to our northeast. So we should check that out. The magma chamber. That's the place I'm going to have to visit as well at some point. Oh, is there a bunch of island that I haven't seen? Yeah, there is. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen yet. But let's go to our east and see what um, mysteries lie there. Notice how I went north. I guess I'm going north and then east. All right, what do we got here? Setting a checkpoint. This is good. Anything, anything? This might be the island that I can only access with the locust box. Yeah, I'm thinking it is. Yeah, it is for sure. Okay. Well, um, so we can't do anything with this yet. Um, well, there's a bunch of sea I haven't seen yet. I kind of want to like follow the coast line a little bit. There's quite a bit around here that we could see because there's no bridge cutting off this part. So let's just like head south and um, check out the island. Oh, what was that? What is this? Is that anything? Probably not. Probably nothing. Trying to make the best use of the wind. All right, we're going to go south. You never know, there might be something, some stuff here only accessible via the boat. Well, certainly that's not it. There's also quite a bit here I haven't seen. I just want to make sure I'm like checking everything out. Oh, we're starving? Do 
we have any food? We have a little bit of food, but we're going to need to get some more venison. This could be something. Probably isn't. Yeah, there's a bridge there, so that's going to cut our little journey off. Um, that's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, let's just like, we'll head back. I wonder if there's like a forest nearby, I could go get some food. I don't think there is. Well, there's a forest there, but I don't want to go that that whole this whole area kind of sucks. Not a fan. Not a not a fan of this area at all. We're starving. Okay. Um, let's disembark here and see if I can find some prey. Or at least something to eat. Yeah, I know I'm starving. I know. I'm not finding any food here. Oh, prey disappeared. That means there's there is prey here. Prey here. Okay, cool. Um, gonna go ahead and throw down a bloodstone. Are you kidding me? I missed the the deer, but I hit myself. Okay. Uh, well, we got the venison. We'll eat it. We'll leave. And we're going to follow this coastline. I just want to make sure I'm like, you know, seeing everything. So we're, we're going to be probably exploring the ocean. I actually kind of wonder if I shouldn't do an off camera exploration of the, uh, of the sea, because apparently there's a giant red cross or not red cross. This, this game does not, <laughs> uh violate the geneva convention now um there's a there's a giant cross out in the ocean and i have to go and find that apparently there's a lot of stuff around here that i haven't been seeing this is going to be a temple to for for some kind of weapon that i can't get yet yep okay um so this is the temple of the what really hard to see that Tem it looks like temple of the place but it's temple of the mace i think Um, yeah, there's a lot this there's a giant Like forest that basically I haven't explored So let's kind of fill in some gaps here. I Know uh, the episodes pretty much over it, it was actually over like 10 minutes ago but um, you know I'm on a roll here. I'm, I'm gonna I'm at, <laughs> he says as he's dying I'm on a roll gonna die um, potion of healing, drink it. Cool. Undoubtedly, there, um, I, I, I have a funny feeling that the last Eldarin herb and locust fragment are, uh, in this forest. Hey, I'm here and get get destroyed bat You know, I just noticed there's a um, cross here. I wonder if I can use the bell here tools Okay, the bell rings weekly oh god Uh That that was pretty brutal. All right, what happens if I use the bell here? Rings weekly. Did I is it just my imagination or did I see something? No, that was my cursor. Okay. 
All right, I don't know. Uh, it might be that there is something here, but I don't know. Could be I have to try this at like every... I think I saw something in my south, actually. Yeah, there's something in my south. Um, we'll have to... I keep pressing the wrong button. I, I'll have to use some more oil. Is it out in the water? No, I think it's just, um, kind of pointing me in a direction. I don't think it's actually giving me an indication yet. The bell rings. I'm, I'm like, I'm on a completely different tangent now because apparently I am, I am receiving something. And Roche, Roche's bell is, is very important. It's pointing me to the southeast right now. You know what? I, I think, I wonder if it's pointing me towards, uh, my, uh, Callan's grave, my, like my, my father's grave. That would make sense, wouldn't it? I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to fight my father. Well, at least before we do, um, I'll be able to rest at my home. I don't even know maybe where they're buried. They might be buried in the in, back, uh, in the graveyard. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, well, why don't we do that in the next episode? We'll start the next episode by ringing the bell at the at our graveyard. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.